G'day shoppers. We got a blue tongue lizard, and uh, we raise him up a bit. There's his t big blue tongue, and you can hear him. If you come down close, you can hear him. He's a little cranky when we rev him up, but uh, he's got some paralysis ticks. Just I've got my helper here. Come this way. Come this way. See those big pea-looking things? Paralysis ticks sitting in behind his legs so he can't get them off. And then down in his ears, his ears are chock-a-block full of ticks. Now we haven't done one of these videos for a while and all the videos that I did have have actually been now removed by Facebook. So we'll try to get the tick off without leaving its head. You have to move your fingers open without leaving the head behind and then potentially see them they hold on pretty good there, oh, there we go there's the tick with these little legs his head as well. it sounded like it might have snapped off it's a bit hard to tell anyway there's one and then this one's a little bit smaller No, that's his head because there's his antennas out the front, I think. They really wedge themselves in. And now you've got to give him to me. And I'm going to have to hold his head down. And deep in here. Is... Some regular old bush ticks. That's a bush tick. And his bum went splat. Probably it's in focus. There's one. They get right into the ears. There's a little baby paralysis. He'll start walking around in a second. All the old scale. Which all this old ear scale that can't come out because the ticks are stuck in there. There's another one. Oops. There's another baby paralysis up there. Another big fat bushy. And there he is. And got a little paralysis down there. A little baby paralysis right there. They start off that there is a tick. That little tiny one right there is a tick. And for his scale, that's my little finger. That's my thumb. And see, so this little one here is going to wander off. So he looks pretty good now. I don't know. There's another one there. Now we'll flip him over and we'll do the other ear.
Hold that bit of bark up, Riley. I'll put some of them on the bark. Oh, that one went splat. There's the rest of it. Blech. Uh, I think that might be it. What is that bit in there then? Scales. So there's a bit of dried scale in there. I'm just checking there's no more baby ones in between the scales. So he's not too bad overall. But he did have those big ticks in behind his leg. And that's the thing is they get in the back of the legs there. And they can't get them off. You'll bite your nose. <laughs> and there's his bum. And sometimes they get in there. There's his bum. And um, he looks pretty good now. Now he can hear you better. He can. He's a strong one. The bite's not too bad, but it does actually hurt a bit. So there you go. And there's something we haven't done for a while. Is Now we'll, we'll kill all of these. Because this little walker here, that's a little bush tick. They get along pretty good. So Australian bush ticks. And... Um, we just, unfortunately, it's a bit cruel, I suppose, but we don't want them on us. So we will actually kill them. And when we squash them, you get blue tongue blood comes bleh out everywhere. But these ones, they go pop. Now, whoops, where'd that one go? And there it is. I think they're all dead. And they're coming back to life for those ones. Now, was this? Oh, yeah, there's one trying to escape. Just there, there he is. Now, that's just a regular Australian bush tick. Pop. And there's his blue tongue blood. And then these ones. They're huge. So, that's a paralysis tick. They get on a dog, they'll kill your dog. So anyway. And now, we'll let our little mate go. Back into the bush where we found him. Thanks for watching.